TX1's right block PCIe connection is used to image PCIe solid state drives or SSDs as they're commonly known. PCIe drives come in a variety of non-standard form factors. The use of form factor specific adapters is required to connect the SSD to the TX1 via the right block PCIe port. This video demonstrates how to use the TX1 to image an M.2 NVMe PCIe SSD. PCIe does not support hot swapping drives. Be sure to have your TX1 powered down when making all source drive connections. Using the proper PCIe M.2 SSD adapter, gently insert the SSD. Use the thumb screw to lock the SSD drive in the adapter. Using the proper PCIe cable, insert the connector ends until an audible lock sound is heard. Now, connect the other cable end to the PCIe port on the TX1. Power up the TX1. As you can see from the source tab on the home screen, the TX1 has recognized the M.2 SSD. For this demo, we'll image to a Samsung 860 Pro SSD connected to the TX1 S1 storage base. SATA is hot swappable, so we don't need to power down the TX1. The destination tab now shows OneDrive connected. To image the right blocked M.2 SSD, tap on the duplicate icon on the home screen. Since only one source and one destination drive is connected, TX1 assumes those drives are for imaging. Verify all the device and image settings are set as necessary. Let's change the image settings from EX01 to E01 output format. When satisfied all the settings are correct, tap on Start Duplication to begin forensic imaging. The TX1's PCIe right block port is used to image various types and form factors of SSDs. There's also a PCIe adapter used to image IDE drives. PCIe-based storage technology is an area of ongoing change. Expect additional TX1 adapters as new types of PCIe storage come to market.